As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flag, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter Midway Ceremonial Drill Hall and are announced in the following order. Ladies and gentlemen, Please rise as we welcome today's graduating divisions.
six, four. Today's graduating performing units are Division 9, 1, 4. Division 914 and 915 provide the state flag, color guard, drumline unit, the recruit choir, drill team, and band for today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders. Fall out and collect outer garments.
divisions. Counter. March. Attention, please. For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand. And we ask this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of Recruit Training Command. Commanders, left or right, face, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Daniel Arcor, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I'd like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see five divisions comprised of 425 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit positioned at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Alexis Rigby from Cedro Woolley, Washington. Let's give her a hand, folks. <laughs> Performing today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, as well as the state flags unit and the triple threat unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During the night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commander. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, the division commanders, and our chief petty officers. As they introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As they introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I'll be starting from there, right. Division zero, six, three. 
committed by Chief Petty Officer Jesus Martinez. Petty Officer Second Class Patrick Fitzgerald. Petty Officer Second Class Jacob Wood. And their crew chief petty officer, fireman apprentice Blake Cruz from Beaumont, Texas. Division 064. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer David Wilson. Petty Officer First Class Ryan Little. Petty Officer Second Class Brandon Cook. And their recruit chief petty officer, Airman Jace Watson, from New Plymouth, Idaho. Division 065. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Mateo Brady Velasco. Petty Officer First Class, Ivana Torres. Petty Officer Second Class, Anthony Lara. And their crew chief petty officer, Seaman Emily Rodriguez from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Division 914. Commanded by Senior Chief Petty Officer Jessica Guzman. Petty Officer First Class, Ryan Malter. Petty Officer First Class, Carlos Rodriguez. And their crew chief petty officer, Airman Apprentice Jeremiah Adams from Sonoya, Georgia. Division 915. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Judy Burns. Petty Officer First Class, Tomas Kozlowski. Petty Officer Second Class, Jerome Abella. And their Crew Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Philip Patterson from Virginia Beach, Virginia. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and their Crew Chief Petty Officers on a job. Well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial side boys, Boatswain and Honor Guard, take their places for rival honors. This time-honored tradition is a formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. When requested by the announcer, please stand for rival honors, marching on other colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Recruit Training Command, arriving. Naval Support Activity, Hampton Roads, arriving. Order! Arms! The guests may be seated. Will the guests please rise? Present arms.
Reason. Our f- Order arms. Chaplain Badaki will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Eternal Father, after ten weeks of arduous training, we gather at this glorious moment of graduation to give you thanks and raise our praise of glory for all the good things you keep showering upon us. We lift our hearts and souls in prayer and gratitude for all the miracles we witnessed in our life and the lives of our shipmates who were able to find strength to overcome the many obstacles of boot camp. You were holding them on the palm of your hand to overcome their fears and insecurities. You helped them win over their homesickness and anxiety. And you made them strong and independent sailors ready to embark on amazing journeys. You supported them and enlightened their mind to discern the need to become the best version of themselves. And Lord, you were there during their hardship to sustain them, to remind them that you are the Emmanuel, God is with us. Even when things did seem impossible, you reminded all of us that you are the infinite love and you call us from the misery of our loneliness to join a greater cause and proudly serve our nation in the Navy and our fellow American citizen. From the initial P days with all its fears and worries to passing the RDC assessment halfway through boot camp and from preparing to face the challenges of battle stations to victoriously celebrating capping ceremony. Now we finally are at this memorable long-awaited graduation of these new sailors and they are standing here proudly waiting for their well-earned liberty and especially reuniting with their families and beloved ones. We extend our gratitude to all the RDCs and staff members who helped shaping these new sailors and preparing them to go to the fleet with heads held high and minds filled with positive pride and courageous hearts. Bless them, Lord, and reward them all hundredfold and more. We are thankful also for our families and dearly beloved ones who supported these new sailors and continue to do so, and we ask for abundance of blessings upon them. Lead us all, Lord, to ports of salvation in your most holy name that is above all names. Now and forever we pray. Amen. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. 
Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command.
Wolf. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer, Recruit Training Command. Welcome to your Navy Quarter Day. I'd like to welcome all the family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Captain Matt T. Frauenzimmer, Commanding Officer, Naval Support Activity, Hampton Roads, and our guest of honor, Master Chief Gerald Alton, National Chief Recruiter, Navy Recruiting Command. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. Would all our veterans please rise and give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Divisions 914 and 915 graduate today. 914 is the triple threat, providing a recruit choir, drill team, and band. Division 915 is the state flags unit, providing the 50 state flags, District of Columbia, and U.S. Territory flags, drum corps, and color guard. And I hear it on good rumor that there might be an American Idol contestant in one of those units. Please join me today in congratulating them and the three other divisions out here on their standing work accomplishing this feat. A round of applause for graduating. Thank you. The Staff and Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basically trained, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding recruit training and earn the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate your new journey together, I invite you to learn more about your Navy family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family to learn more about your Navy family. Today's graduates serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty from those who threaten. I can say with pride, this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 425 of the newest, sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Recruit Training Command. Recruit. Recruit Training Command's competitive system among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. Captain Fromm Zimmer will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frobert, and our guest of honor, Master Chief Gerald K. Elchin. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Apprentice Chez War Fidel Andrade, Division 915, from Riverside, California, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of American Revolution. Seaman Apprentice Andrade receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Captain. Morning, Master Chief. 
For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Airman Laura Bongiovanni, Division 915 from New Brunswick, New Jersey, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Airman Bongiovanni is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Mason Hawthorne, Division 063, from Weatherford, Oklahoma, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Seaman Hawthorne is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. Seaman Autumn Zilke, Division 915 from Beaverdam, Wisconsin, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Zilke is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Airman Bailey Speakman, Division 065 from Anaheim, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Airman Speakman is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Antonio Valdez, Division 063, from Long Beach, California, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag under accommodation. Seaman Valdez, the staff of Recruit Training Command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Divisions! 
It is appropriate to recognize such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Ladies and gentlemen, how about another round of applause for our award recipients? distinct honor of introducing our reviewing officer this morning, Captain Matt Rollins Zimmer, commanding officer Naval Support Activity Hampton Roads. A native of San Clemente, California, graduated in 1997 from the United States Naval Academy. His operational assignments include initial and department head service with World Watchers of Fleet Air Reconnaissance Squadron 1, assistant operations officer aboard USS Abraham Lincoln, executive and 80th commanding officer of the Grey Knights Patrol Squadron 4-6, and Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations Plans and Training for Carrier Strike Group 2 for USS Dwight D. Eisenhower. Additionally, his shore assignments include assignments overseas in Japan as a current and assistant operations officer for Commander Task Force 57 and 72, aid and executive assistant to the Commanding General Joint Task Force Civil Support U.S. Northern Command, and Assistant Chief of Staff Plans, Warfighting Assessments, and the Chief Information Officer for Commander Patrol and Reconnaissance Group. He assumed command and naval support activity at the Rose in July 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm recruit and training command welcome, Captain Robinson. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and friends of the 425 newest sailors in the world's finest Navy. I'm Captain Matt Frownsimer. For the next two to three minutes, I want to say thank you and welcome to the Navy family. It is a great privilege to join you today and be a part of this ceremony. To our newest sailors, you are not likely to remember my name nor what I said. Trust me, I took a poll before I came up here. But my hope is that you remember how this day made you feel, and I am sincerely grateful for your selfless decision to serve our nation and our Navy. For over a century, Naval Station Great Lakes has transformed over three million civilians into highly trained sailors. The program here has always been rigorous, demanding more from recruits than they probably thought was possible. But each of them has selflessly answered the call to duty to serve a cause greater than themselves. They have passed battle stations and proven themselves worthy of wearing the uniform that symbolizes freedom throughout the world, the uniform of a United States Navy sailor. The recruit division commanders, instructors, and staff have taken on the unique an honorable challenge of shaping civilians into the finest American sailors while maintaining the Navy's highest standards. We thank them for their dedication. But most importantly, we acknowledge these sailors' families and friends for the integral role you have played. You helped shape your recruit into a person who wanted to stand up for their country, who understands the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And during the past 10 weeks, or longer in some cases, you have tirelessly supported them. We now welcome you into the Navy family as well. In closing, sailors, you are about to embark on one of the most challenging and rewarding adventures of your life. You've chosen to serve your country at a time when it is needed most, when America must show strong presence throughout the world, from the seabed to the stars, in and on the high seas and in the skies above. You've taken on the responsibility 
of defending our nation and are now prepared for that tremendous duty. You have earned not only mine, but the respect of a grateful nation. Congratulations, sailors, and congratulations, families. Providence, everyone will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of the Navy Band, Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders. Fall out and retrieve outer garments.
Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call, Liberty Call. 